Hi guys, welcome back. So today I've got a quick tutorial where we're going to be creating this accordion. So you can just have like some simple questions here with answers and they will be revealed when you click on the accordion button. Okay, so I've seen this in a fair amount of websites. You can see when it always expands. You can close them up as well. And we get that subtle, um, well, text reveal effect when we expand the accordion. So yeah, I hope you enjoy guys and let's get going. Thanks. Okay guys, so as always, I've just got the index.html, a style.css and an app.js file in the new project folder. Um, I'm going to emit some HTML code here. And then, if I just make this a bit bigger, and then we can link to the style.css in the header. And then also just link to the script, uh, the JavaScript file using the script source tag in the bottom of the body, like so. Okay, let's open this in live server. Uh, let me just bring this over here. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing we want to do in our HTML is we're just going to add a section here. This will just be like the main container, parent container for our accordion. And then we're going to have a div of a class of accordion container, like so. And then coming in here, we're just going to set out our actual accordion buttons now. So I'm just going to say here, um, we'll just say uh, button. I'm going to give this a class as well of um, accordion. And then we also give it another subclass of accordion or ACC underscore list, like so. And then uh, the first one, I'll just put, um, use any, any text you want really. I'm just going to say here, um, we can go for um, I don't know, question one. Put whatever you'd want here. This could be like links or something like that. Um, and then underneath this, we're going to have a div of a class of panel, like so. And then in here, I'm just going to have, um, let's go for a P with some lorem text for now. Um, I'm also just going to do a, a break line here. This would be like the answer to a question. And then we can just uh, <clears throat> add some more lorem text. Let's put another break line in just so we get a bit of separation there. Like so. Okay, so that's our first question. And then we can just, I guess, kind of just copy this down. So let me just um, say that button. And then, so copy the button and the, the uh, panel div. Uh, and we can just come underneath that paste it again, this would be question two. Uh, and then question three, we'll do five questions. And then four. And finally, we'll just do the fifth one there, five. Okay, so there's our uh, questions that are well, that's what we're going to create our accordion out of. Um, that's pretty much it for our HTML. So let's go to our CSS now. And the first one I want to do in my CSS is just do the um, global settings. Let's just set this to CSS. So we'll just do margin. Oh. Margin, zero. Padding, zero. And box size in a border box. And that removes all of the font margins and paddings. And then also under this, I'm just going to set our font as well. So just say font family. I'm just going to go for just a standard sans serif. Um, and then letter spacing. I'm just going to bring the letters a bit closer together. I'll just say minus 0 0.05 EM, like so. And then we can also just adjust the font weight. Um, I'll just say font weight. I'll uh, just do uh, 300 for now. Just make it a bit lighter. And I'm going to set the color to be white. Okay, and then underneath this, next thing we're going to set is our HTML on our body. And then we'll just set the background color here to be a dark gray. 161616, like so. And then underneath this, I'm just going to set our section uh, uh, tag. And then we can here just say display um, flex. 
And then we're also going to say position relative as well. And then we want to set the width to be 100% to fill the viewport. And then we're also just going to say justify content center. So that's what we've done here. We've displayed with Flexbox so we can justify our content. So this will be nice and centered because this um, accordion container is going to have a width of 80%. So let's sort that out now. I'll come under here, I'll just say accordion uh, double underscore container. Was it double underscore I used? Yeah. And then here we can just say uh, a width of 80%, like so. And you can see that's nice and centered. We get out the nice white space on the left and right. Um, I'm also just going to say um, margin as well. I want to, I'll set the position to be relative as well. So let's do that. And then we'll just set the uh, margin to be two red. Just give it some white space on the top and bottom as well, like so. <clears throat> okay, so next, we're going to grab our accordion buttons. Remember, we set our buttons to have the class of accordion here. So with these, what we want to do is I'm just going to say a width of 100%. Um, and then also, we want to say background. I want to get rid of that button background. So I just set it to the same as the, um, the main background color. Uh, we're going to set the cursor to be a pointer. So when we hover, we get that pointer up here. Um, and then we're going to just create some padding now. So I just say padding and we'll just go for one rem on the top and bottom and zero on the left and right. That just gives us a bit of padding at the top and the bottom of our buttons. And then also we can say uh, text align. We'll set that to left, just so it's nice and well left aligned to the rest of our text. Um, and then we want to remove this border as well because that looks horrible. So I'm just going to set the border to be one, well, none. Like so. And I also want to just remove the outline for some browsers as well. Because I know some browsers contain the outline setting as well. Um, and then finally, I just want to set the border bottom to one pixel solid. And we'll go for a white. So I say white, and let's just make it a bit transparent. So I'm just going to drag this down, uh, judge it, uh, yeah, adjust it to your taste. But yeah, we've got a nice border up here now underneath each of our buttons. Um, I also want to just make the font size a bit bigger for these buttons as well, because these will be like questions the user will be able to click on. So here I can just say, uh, we'll just um, say font size, 1.5 rem. There you go, that's a bit bigger now. Um, so nearly there the CSS, let's just work on our panels now. So remember each of our kind of questions or within our all according to we have these panels here. Okay, and this is like the answers to our questions. Um, so we'll just say, come underneath this, we'll say dot panel, and I'm going to give this a max height of zero. Okay, and that will hide, well, you can see it's, it's hiding like some of the text here. And then I'm also just going to say um, overflow, hidden. That will remove it from the bottom there. And then <clears throat> we're just going to set the opacity to be zero. So it'd be uh, transparent because when we click on these buttons, we want the kind of text to be slightly revealed or animated in. And then I'm also just going to say uh, transition. And this is going to be the timings for our animation. So for the max height, we're going to be adjusting this with JavaScript. We're going to be animating the max height setting. And here wants this to just be 0.2 seconds. And we want to have the ease out, uh, yeah, the ease out property. And then we also just want to set our opacity uh, timing to be just two seconds. It's a bit longer. Okay, and now what I also want to do here, um, I think that's pretty much it actually. Let's just go to our JavaScript now. So let's make this interactive because at the moment when we press these buttons, obviously nothing's happening. So the first one I want to do in JavaScript is just um, say let uh, accordions uh, equal, and we can just um, select all of our accordion buttons. So we we'll just say document. I'm using the spread operator here in order to spread these out into an array. And we just say query select to all, and we can just say um, we just want all of these. I'll just take this act list. I don't think we actually needed two classes in there, but it's too late now. Um, I'm just going to console.log these accordions. 
Uh, and that should be in our console now, all of our buttons. Okay, need to put the dots on there because it's a class. And now you can see we have our five buttons logged like so. So now what we're going to do is loop for all these buttons. So we can say um, accordions dot for each. Um, we're going to pass in the accordion. Actually, I'm going to do another set of brackets here because I want to pass in the index as well. That comes with a for each method. And here I'm just going to say, um, uh, we want to add an event listener, so say add event listener, according to add event listener, we want to listen out for a click, so whenever we click on each accordion, we're going to toggle this callback function here, and we're just going to say uh, accordion uh, dot class list, um, uh, yeah, we can say this actually, sorry, so we just say, uh, first, we want to target the panel. So for each of our buttons, we want to target the actual sibling panel. So we can say let panel equal, and we're just going to say here uh, the accordion that we're on, this we're iterating through, and we can just say next element sibling. Okay, so if I console.log that panel, if we come here now, if I click on this button, you should see that the, um, yeah, the, the sibling panel is then logged to the console. Same for this one as well. Can see the panel down there is locked to the console so that's what we're doing there we're selecting that next sibling uh, in the html uh, dom tree and then what we can say after that is um if panel uh and we can say dot style dot max height this is saying if if it does have a max height property which it does because we set that with our css um remember in here we have our panel and we set that max height to be zero initially. That's why we can't see them at the moment. Then we're just going to say, um, well, panel uh, dot class list dot remove. And we're going to set, uh, say active. And we're also just going to say panel dot style dot max height equals null. Okay, and then otherwise we'll do an else function here. We'll say panel, that mean this means basically this else statement will mean if we are clicking on the button it's not active, then we're going to add the active class. So we'll just say dot class list dot add uh, active. And then we just want to set them to the width. So we'll say panel dot style dot max height. So the max height equals, and we're just going to target that uh, panel that we uh, selected up here. And we're just going to say dot scroll height um, and then we can just say uh, plus pixels like so. So now if we click on that, you can see we get our, we get the expansion there. We just need to do some CSS actually. Let's come back to our CSS just to target that text. So here, um, I'm just going to say um, dot panel uh, P and we are going to say here uh, color uh, white so and then also what we need to do um, I just need to set the panel active as well so I'll just say the dot panel and we'll just say dot active and we'll just say opacity of one okay yeah, that's appeared now and I also just want to we can take this color out actually because we said like the global settings the color white I just want to set some margin here so I'll just say margin um, and we can say one rem zero, just to give it a bit of white space, like so. So now we should, yeah, that's working nicely. We get a nice subtle fading as well with the opacity whenever we reopen our uh, accordions. Okay, so I mean, let's just, I um, also just want to check that this works when our questions are a bit longer. I'll add some more Lauren text again. So this would be a question. And then, yeah, obviously you'd have the answer there, like so. Okay, so that's a really quick tutorial on how we just uh, create that kind of nice accordion uh, effect that you see on a lot of websites. Um, yeah, I've seen these used in like navigations as well. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.